Hey everybody, uh, we're back and uh, I drew out this little pattern on this block of wood. It's a inch and three quarter inch square block by eight inches tall. And uh, here's a little pattern uh, that I cut out. And you just could draw you on a pattern and cut it out like that. But my, what I'm going to do today, we're going to we're going to start in here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to cut this out with a with a, instead of a bandsaw, we're going to use carving tools. So I'm going to dig right in here, and I'm going to get me uh, a V tool. And if you notice where I've drawn these lines here, I drew lines here. Uh, just a, as a direction. Well, I'm gonna come across here and start cutting me a V cut across. Now I did draw the pattern on both sides. You wanna kind of have it on both sides like, like that. But, now, uh, I'm going to set this back down. Now, I've got this big old rough out knife here that I use sometimes. And it just, you just start going in and cutting where your lines are. Down to your line. And this is the way I used to do all my carvings before I had access to a bandsaw. And I'll come in on this side here. And I don't know how much we'll get this one done, but we're gonna get it cut out. And I, I like this long blade, especially when I'm doing stuff like this, that'll reach all the way across my piece of wood. Well, you keep shaving away. And you just make big old stop cuts like this right across here. <clears throat> then you can come in with a number three shallow gouge and start cutting back. to help remove the wood. Uh, <clears throat> and all these tools I'm using right now are my hogging tools, what I want. And keep going down, you wanna go down to your lines. <clears throat> and come across here. This right here would be the point of the stomach, or the highest part of the stomach. Oh, yeah, right on here we got to get some more done over here on this side. And what you're doing, you're just blocking this guy in. And see the way that big old knife reaches across there? Now you don't have to have a knife that big. You can you can come in with a blade like this and but it's really nice to to have a, a long bladed knife to reach across. Yeah, see we got that going in there. Now I really like to get down to my lines. Mm. 
and you want to cut this straight across like your bandsaw would do. You still got a little, still a little high there in the center. And this is going to be probably a little farmer. Now, let's go back and <clears throat> cut this back here now. I'll come across right in here and get this line going. Now we can go in with our knife and start. You see how I start on the sides and I work my way toward the center. And I just, I chose this little pattern here because uh, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty simplified. Um, and the stance, if, if you'll, uh, this is not the guy we're doing, but <clears throat> this right here, the, the stance and legs are kind of like this right here. This is an older piece that I'd done, but I don't even know when I did it. I don't even have a date on it. But anyway, that's where I'm headed. But he'll have this one will have a hat on. But the beauty of the bandsaw is you can go in and make these straight cuts and and it, it removes a lot of wood uh, for you. But you got to know what to what to take off. Let's take a little bit more off right in here. And see where that big blade comes across handy. All right, see so he's got a he's really blocked off right there. Now let's start doing uh, this frontal part. And what I'll do here is I'm going to come across right here and start shaving away right in here like this. Can you see that all right there, Peyton? Yep. Mm. Like that. Come across here. And I'm gonna really remove some wood right in here before I start using my knife. And we will, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and uh, uh, we'll finish this guy. And, and uh, I, I don't have much to show you to go by, but we'll get him finished. Uh, I mean, I'll go com complete him. Now, I've got that started. Now I'm gonna start removing a little bit of wood from this line here down toward my feet area and work over the edge down to where I was making this cut here. Do it on this side. And you just you work on the edges first and develop a high ridge or high point, and then you cut that high point down. Like that right there. Well, it's coming, a, coming about. Let's see, I'm gonna come in with a number wide it looks like a number one inch number nine here and start shaving away here
And it's uh, it takes it takes a while to to get these things uh, cut out because you're doing them with the uh, gouges. But you see how I'm using this big number nine. I'll come back this way. Can you see that all right there, Pete? Yep. Okay. And the really what you want to get is down to this bend. And when you do that, you can start shaving uh, that off in there. So I'm going to go back to this number 11. And I'm going to reach in there and try to get that depth in there. I want the top of my foot showing. But I know it's kind of boring sometimes but you got to watch how I do it I want to really get that depth right in here that way I can start cutting down this way with my knife What's the time looking like there, Pete? You got about eight minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to take back, get my knife back, and I'm going to start. Cutting down in here. Mm. Let's see, let's take, uh, here's a number five gouge. How to get in there and Make me some little flatter cuts. See how he's starting to shape up there? All right. And I did, I, I chose a smaller piece because of if I was doing a larger piece, it's just going to take me that much longer to get the uh, shape in. But it, it's getting there now. Still got some You got that new one there, Pete? Just a little bit more right in here. Now uh, let's take this number three and come come down this way. Now you can you could put this in a vise and uh, and hold it uh, uh, with a vise and cut it and you wouldn't have to hold it like I'm doing now. But I like to work with my hands.
Yeah, let's see, I need a, this wide number. Number nine. Still, we got, we got some lines right in there we got to get down to. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in here. Uh, so we can get him kind of shaped up. Uh oh. <clears throat> well, let's take uh, um, this number nine right in here and come in here and start cutting away right in here. We might go over a little bit painting on getting this thing blocked in, okay? Alrighty. Alright, now I'm going to start tapering that down with my knife. See how it's starting to shape up? Now let's go ahead and start removing wood across here. That's where I want it to look. Mm. Yeah, I always start on the side area over here. And then you can come back and get the middle like that right there. Now this knife I'm using is a large rough out blade. It's an old CCT. Uh, I got it in Branson, Missouri. I teach up there and I saw it and I said, man, I gotta, I'm gonna have that knife. I, now, I'm going to go in, he does have a little rear end there, but I'm going to go in with a gouge and kind of shape that up a little bit more in here for this uh, large number nine. This is what you almost wood sculpting when you start gouging away like this. But he's starting to get his shape in there now. Let's come across here and get these legs in. Now off camera, I'll go in and I'll, I'll refine him a little bit. And then uh, on the next video, we'll uh, go in and we'll start doing this, uh, uh, the rest of the body. Now I'm gonna come in right here and make a cut. This word is bottom will be a 
what we're looking at there on time, but Pete, well, how much time we got, Pete? You got about a minute. All right, look, I'm gonna go over just something a little bit, okay? I got the I'm gonna come in right across here and put him a little bottom in there. And uh, just really what we're getting in right now is just this profile of, um, of how you block it in. Uh, a little bit more here. Well, see, I've got the shape of his bottom there. Now, I do want to remove some wood right in here. this way. Let me uh, finish up here with this number three shallow gouge across here. Now, I kind of speeded it up a little bit. Uh, you can take your time on this guy. But anyway, uh, right there, uh, guys, is, is how you start uh, laying it in now see there's some more stuff in here I'm going to refine these lines get down to my to my drawing lines here and then, then on the next uh, 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 we're going to block this head in uh, I was thinking about doing a, a one head that's face this way but I but uh, I think I'm just going to do a straight on face uh, just for the simplicity of it and uh, but uh, We'll, we'll finish blocking this guy in on the next uh, uh, video. So, uh, uh, guys, until the, uh, that, happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.